Hello YouTube, it is Everything Epan here, and today we are doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows Longhorn Build 4042 in VirtualBox. Now, of course, Longhorn being the beta of Vista, uh, this is the last of the Milestone 6 builds. Uh, there were four of them, and this is the last one in the builds here. And uh, this was out in about 2003 I believe this was another one that was in that kind of era and uh, I was a in the fall of that so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and just get straight into the tutorial so we're gonna go ahead and open up VirtualBox here and we're gonna go ahead and create a new machine and we're gonna name this Windows Longhorn build 4042 and then we're going to change the version here to Windows XP 32-bit because it still uses the XP uh, kernel, I guess, per se. It still kind of uses that interface. Hasn't really hit the Vista uh, arrow stage or anything like that yet. So um, then we're going to click Next. And I'm going to bump up the RAM a little bit. We're going to bump it up. You can leave it at the default of 192 megabytes. And uh, I'm going to bump it up to a gig and then we're gonna hit next it's gonna ask to create a virtual hard disk we're gonna click create and then we'll leave it at VDI next dynamically allocated next and then you can leave it at the default of 10 gigabytes and click create and there is our machine so we're gonna go ahead and go to settings here you can go that up here or right click and hit settings and then what we're gonna do here is go to storage and then hit this empty disk and uh, you're going to need the MS-DOS 6.22 ISO and the Windows Longhorn ISO as well. Both of these will be in the description along with VirtualBox and WinRAR if you do not have either one of those as well. You can use 7-Zip. I usually just use WinRAR um, since they're in RAR files anyway. Some of these are. Um, but we're going to need to insert the MS-DOS 6.22 so you can browse for your file. I have it kind of preset here because I used it recently. So it's in there now, and we're going to click OK. And then we're going to go ahead and start up the virtual machine. And here is the machine starting up now. It's going to say starting MS-DOS. And the reason why we need this ISO is because we need to change the bio state. And the way we do this is we go ahead and type the command date and then it'll come up with the current date and then it'll ask you to enter in a new date and then with this you're going to be typing in 09-10-2003 and so with this date it's September 10th 2003 now after that you click enter and then we can go ahead and type the date command to confirm that. It is Wednesday, September 10th, 2003. Click enter to confirm that. And now we can go ahead and insert the Longhorn 4042 ISO. And mine's preset. You may have to browse for yours. And then we'll go up to machine and reset it. And then it's going to start the Windows pre-installation environment. Come up with the Windows Longhorn boot screen. And then it's going to come up with starting setup. And then here it says welcome to Windows setup. And then uh, kind of gives you a little brief message here. We're going to click continue. It's going to ask for a product key. Um, this will be included with the, it may be included with the link in the description. If not, it's on the screen here. So you can watch as I type it in. And after you are finished typing this in, you're going to click OK. And it's going to ask you to review the Microsoft license agreement. If you guys need that product key, you can pause the video and copy that in. We're going to accept that by clicking Yes and Continue. And then here, it's going to automatically select this unallocated space. Um, we're going to format it using NTFS. But when you click Continue, it's not going to work. Um, I don't know why it does this by default, but you have to go up and click Disk 0 and then click Continue. And then it will pop up with this window that says uh, that you've chose to install it on drive zero. And it's going to give you a warning that's going to delete all the partitions and data. There's nothing on it since it's brand new. So we'll click continue. It's going to ask to give you a name for the computer. I'm just going to call it Longhorn 4042. 
and then we're going to click continue and it's going to begin the installation of copying your files and uh, installing windows in general so i'm going to let this sit for a little bit and i'll be back with you guys once we hit the first restart point so here we're at the first restart point here and it says it's going to take about 10 more minutes to complete that doesn't take quite that long so you can let that finish through or you can click finish to reboot your machine and it's going to automatically reboot the machine and then do not press any key to boot from the CD or DVD. There's no purpose in doing it. You're just going to go in a complete loop if you do that otherwise. So it's going to flash the little boot screen momentarily. And it's going to say starting setup. One moment, please. And it's going to sit here for a little while. And then eventually it will make the screen a little bit bigger. And it will say the Longhorn build in the bottom right. And that after that, you're still going to need to wait a little bit. It's not quite finished yet. Still got some final things to do. And then it should present you with the desktop after it's all said and done. So, um, like I said, it's going to sit here for just a little bit. And then after a little bit, it's going to come up with that uh, extended screen and the Longhorn build information in the bottom right. So, uh, we're going to let this sit for a little while longer. And uh, once this is done, uh, I don't believe there's another restart point. There might be. Um, but I'll come back to you guys once it hits the desktop or if it hits another restart point. So here you can see it was there. It was there for a little bit, but I didn't unpause in time. Uh, there was the starting setup and it had this in the bottom right. So it's going to kind of sit here for a little bit and do some final things here. It was kind of detecting hardware while, while I was waiting. Um, but it's going to sit here just with black screen. And in the bottom here, it says Longhorn Professional for testing purposes only. And then it gives you the build information there. So um, it shouldn't take too much longer to get all the stuff ready that it needs to. It's kind of just working on things and making making some final installations and all that kind of stuff. So um, just let it sit for a little longer and it will reboot. And then once again, do not press any key to boot from the CD. Um, we will eject that once we uh, get to the desktop and as you can see here we are on the logon screen and it's going to automatically log in because it automatically has an account uh, I think it's the administrator account created and um, this is what the logon screen was like uh, for these for the milestone six builds of Longhorn so um, it'll say please wait for a little bit it takes a little bit to log in the first time especially um, but Longhorn, as I said, is in beta, so things may take longer than they should. So just kind of sit here a little bit longer, and once it's finished with thinking here, it will come up to the desktop. And here we are at the desktop, finally, and this is what it looked like. Uh, looks familiar from other builds uh, as you can see we're in the administrator account uh, it's gonna try and f uh, install some new hardware we're gonna cancel that because it's not gonna be able to there's no internet or anything on this VMware tools or not VMware tools VirtualBox guest extensions will not or additions goodness gracious VirtualBox guest additions will not work with this uh, if you were to try to enter it in um, like I said um, we can go ahead and remove the disk now from the virtual drive there um, and we can force on mount it's not going to do anything else and then if we try to insert the guest editions image it's going to try and go through the setup here and we can go through it um, and click install it's going to try and do things it's going to give you an error it's going to abort the installation so it's because it's a beta build uh, it doesn't recognize the operating system uh, in order to install drivers so there you go guys, that is my video tutorial on how to install Windows Longhorn build 4042 in VirtualBox. Thank you guys for watching, I appreciate all the support. If you'd like to support me more, you can leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. And also, if you are not yet subscribed, be sure to do so and have notifications turned on. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.